Hi, my name is Shaniel Fisher and I'm the director of a mission project in the Dominican Republic. Well, I want to take this time to tell you a little bit about what's happening in the Dominican Republic. In 2012, December, I went down there to be, get involved into a project that started in 1987 but went down to the ground in the year 2000. When I went, as you can see on this photo, it, everything was on the ground. The buildings were all taken over by trees, bushes, and uh, wasps, hornets, snakes. Everything were on the inside of the buildings. As you can notice on this picture, it was really devastated. It was out and not in function. After a few months, with the help of some missionaries from the United States and other countries, we were able to start the rebuilding process. We started clearing the land, rebuilding all the buildings and actually getting them in order to work once again. As you notice on this picture, you are able to see a better view of how things are right now in this project. Actually, there are a series of pictures here that you're able to notice. Uh, we have now planted fruit trees, we started the farm, the buildings are in function. We had a six-month school that was finished in December of 2013. In fact, how did this start? We went into Santo Domingo, the capital of Dominican Republic, and we had couple of uh, one-month light schools. In these light schools we had people in the medical profession, nurses, doctors and health directors of the Seventh-day Adventist churches there that came to receive this training. And after receiving this training over 60 of them wanted to come on campus to do our six-month course. Well, we were not able to take so many of them because majority of them didn't have the money to uh, pay for their course and we didn't have what it takes to really uh, take care of them during these six months. So we only had 18 students, which was such a great blessing uh, throughout these six months. After that, we still continued with training and also planning one month light schools. As you notice on these pictures, the students, the campus, People, our lives have been changed so far with the great work that God is doing in the Dominican Republic. We want to thank you for your prayer and most of all thank Light because Light has been so much involved in the work that we're doing there in the Dominican Republic. And you know friends, we have many goals in this project. We want to restore the Lifestyle Center. We want to have a little city mission. We call it a Vida Sana in uh, Santo Domingo, where we can have health food store, restaurants, and also a little treatment room working together. These are some of the plans. We are repairing our bakery, the building of our bakery, and also to have a full education program in campus. Well, I guess that's enough for now. Stay in touch with us. We are able to provide you lots more updates of what's going on in this mission in the Dominican Republic. God bless you.